You need reference art before you start with the avatar. Please, I speak from experience. I've been doing this since 2014. Oh, I don't need reference art. Yes, you do. It saves hours and hours and hours of work. Please hire one. You can hire one on Fiverr. You can go on Facebook. Remember, get one that focuses on reference art. People say, oh, I can draw. No, they cannot draw reference art. They're gonna fall in the face. I've been working with so many artists. I've been training a lot of artists and I don't even draw, but I train them because I know what to look for. You need to have all the body proportions lined up. I'm gonna talk about that in just a minute. Make your own avatar for free. You can get references for free as well. For example, go on Google, type in tools and do large. And as you can look, just reference. Basically, all you really need is front, side and back, you know, and make sure the lines match up. This one, for example, see how the lines match up with the chin? This is just some random one. There's a bunch of them that you can find. And this is reference. This is not copying in there. It's a difference. For example, look at this uh, costume. That's not copying. Everyone in the mom does a costume like that. And you mix and match. For example, this hair is not copyrighted. I'd be surprised if hairs are copyrighted. And, you know, you do shoes. You get shoes. And you just, you know, be your own original character. Frankenstein together. Usually when you hire an artist, this is what you do. And you can also go, this is what you type in. Go to Pinterest. You know, reference, front, side, back. And you can kind of see the same thing on here. And as I, you know, mentioned before, see how the lines match up? That's very important. See the chin. Yeah, it's actually really important. This is actually good. I don't know who it is, but it does a good job. See, all that stuff matches up and that's really important. And if you want to hire someone, you can go to Facebook and just join a group. For example, here, Artists and Commissions. There's multiple other ones. Can you see how this is stuff on here? You can do, write something. So you can like ask, say, hey, I need someone. For example, here, boom, something like that. Makes you sound professional <laughs> with minimum effort because this does this up here, you know, copy and paste, you know, something like in there, then boom. Then after you get your reference art, we can start going. For example, look at this. Matches up all lines. Standing on a platform, ankles, go down here, knees, the rear crutch area. See how it matches up, which is awesome. Then you go more, underwear perfectly covers up, the chest area meets. The end of it does the chin, lips, nose, eyes, and so on and so forth. When you start off Blender, you see something like this. Don't worry. Click off to the side. Then after that, just go to collections and click this. It's going to hide everything else. Right click, new collections. And just name it what you want. I'm going to name it reference art. So yeah. And you know, to know what I'm pressing, I'm just like this. So don't know what I'm clicking. Down left. See, it's clicking. All right, now it's time for reference art. And see, here it is right here. Just grab and drop. Boom. And links in the description for this reference art. All right, make sure you have it selected. And as far as navigation goes, um, right here is the pan, or could do shift middle mouse button to pan. Here is uh, zooming in, or could do middle mouse button and zoom in. And you hold down middle mouse button, then alt to step to views. It's really important. It don't get mixed up. It's overwhelming. Just follow my clicks, left corner. All right, so I'm gonna hold down Alt, then G, then Alt again, then S, Alt again, then R. It basically brings it all to the real origin. That's what's where the X's are. All right, and click this over here. It makes it easier. All right, I'm gonna do middle mouse button, then Alt to snap right here, or I can do this. So primitive navigation stuff right there. R, then Control to snap it about right here. Now it just does 90, as you can see, that's 90. Then middle mouse button, hold that middle mouse button, then Alt to snap right there. And now we time to do, time to do a reference art. So I'm gonna do G and just control to get exact measurements. And here's the thing, you want your character on top of the red line, really important. And just, you can do G, then hold down control to get exact measurements. So I'm gonna put it right there-ish. And I'm gonna zoom up and yeah, that looks good. Now, as uh, as far as reference art goes, there's different ways to program it. For example, I'm gonna bring in the cube and as you can see, then we click another thing. I'm gonna make sure I have your disc selected and you can do back. No, wait a minute, not this one, back. 
See, it's automatically going to be in back of the view. See, and no matter what you have selected. So, or you can have it in front. See, it's just up to you. You can go back and forth. So I'm going to have it at the back and also going to have it, this as front. All right. You don't see it. Now you do. Awesome. Click transparent. It depends how saturated it is. If it's a white background, it's going to burn your eyes out. So I'm going to left click, hold it down, and then control about, see if it's really bright. I'm going to do about halfway. Halfway is good. We just could trace around it for now. Not that. Click on this. So we're back into here. All right. As you can see, it's only that few. After that, I'm going to do Shift D, right click to let go. And I'm just going to do middle mouse button, then Alt to snap. Goss is right here. And let's do R, then just do Control, hold down Control, and just boom. And just middle mouse button, Alt to go over here. And this is going to be the back. So you kind of over to here. Then just do. Uh, G, then X, then hold on control about right here-ish, and just zoom in, and just, let's see, about right, right there. All right, the, the closer in you zoom, the more you see grids, and that's the uh, closer you get to it. All right, then I'm going to do Shift D again, go from above, and just do, let's see, it's different. R and control about like right here, then move it back kind of like right there. Right there's fine. See, we want this one to be both. So let's do default. No, no, I'm sorry, both. And see how it's the other way? We want the other way. So just rotate it again. Hold on, control, boom. All right. And if it gets annoying having the blue marks, don't worry about that. So you have it selected, you're only on access. See, you don't see it, but hold down the mouse button and Alt, now you do. I, I prefer to have it that way because it just, you know, clears things up. Let's see, make sure you have the other one selected. Only on access. All right, now I'll click on this one, puts me on side view. And for now, we click this so you can see for both views and just put it right there and just do control bow. The neck should be in the middle, so that looks like about good. Don't panic about if it's over here or not. Right there looks good. And yeah, that's basically how you do it. Do only an access. And as you can see, the side one does all of them, but the other ones don't. And that's really important. Then yeah, that's basically how you go. And shift C to zoom all the way out. And don't forget to save. So go up to here, file, then just do save as.